the history of our country laced with armed conflict and humanitarian aid. This morning, we're talking about an incredible leadership opportunity for teens and young adults educating their peers about that, how that history translates into our future and our present. It's with the Red Cross and it's called the Youth Action Campaign. Young people ages 13 to 24 get to create and run their own campaigns, educating their peers and really the rest of us on the vital role that humanitarian aid and humanitarian laws have in our lives. Talk about a cool topic. So here to chat with me about that leadership opportunity, Dee Dodwell with the Red Cross, who works with our armed forces and international services, and then her daughter, Catherine Dodwell, the Red Cross's Action Youth Campaign Advocate for Utah. Thanks so much for being here, Dee and Catherine. Thank you. What a cool, I mean, kind of a heady topic, international <laughs> humanitarian law for kids. I mean, a topic that a lot of adults maybe wouldn't even know where to start. Catherine, I mean, why is this so important and, and, and valuable for kids today? Today, it's so important right now because schools don't cover this topic yeah. as much. It's like, okay, the Geneva Conference happened and then they don't talk about it anymore. And I think it's so important to learn about those very specific things because it's so important in the world today. Mm -hmm. Like we're going through, things today that makes it really important to know about that. Right, topic. especially in the news right now with the end of the war, we have Afghan refugees coming here. I mean, we're talking specifically about about those those topics. Do you, I mean, you've been working, both of you have been working with the Red Cross for about four years now, and you were previously in the armed services in the Air Force. How is this kind of fulfilling the, the Red Cross's mission kind of serving those armed services and, and preparing our youth to serve them as well. Absolutely. So um, for American Red Cross International Services, we're actually a part of the Geneva Convention, so mm. we're chartered by them to teach international humanitarian law. So there's 191 countries um, that has signed up to be a part of the Geneva Convention, and we all agreed that we're going to teach international humanitarian laws to our citizens. Wow. So um, National Headquarters came up with the idea, let's let the youth teach the youth. Um, because sometimes you have adults, you know, I could tell her to do something every day <laughs> and she might not listen to me. Yeah. But when you have peers and, and they're able to be creative and make music videos and everything like that, and, and it brings them and inspires them. Catherine, talk to me about what the, I understand there's a specific campaign for this year, mm -hmm. and talk to me about what the involvement actually looks like. What will kids be doing on mm -hmm. a day to day basis? What's the time commitment like? Okay. So for the time commitment, it's mainly on yourself. Mm -hmm. And the topic this year is the preservation of cult cultural property, and which is very interesting. Last yeah. year, I focused on education and war. So this year, it's very important that we're doing a lot of it online. Mm -hmm. So you're working mainly on your own, but you also have your peer to peer. So it's like, okay, I need help. I'm going to talk contact this person. And so the time commitment is mainly on yourself, but you're working by yourself. So it's a lot of, okay, I'm self-driving. I'm focusing on this. I'm educating and myself on this topic and then creating something cool that I enjoy. Mm -hmm. Which is very cool because we can either do it in person. I, for, I personally did it through my school, mm -hmm. but you can do it through social media media and stuff like that. So cool. Talk to me, I mean, I'm sure you've met some really cool people doing this kind of creating relationships. Yeah, it's very interesting. Through my whole entire career of Red Cross, volunteering, I've met so many amazing people, so many amazing veterans. Yeah, way cool. Talk to me about how kids can get involved, how young adults can get involved. You're really targeting people 13 years old to 24 years old, that's quite a span. So how can they get involved in the process if they'd like to? So anybody that wants to become a leader, wants to learn about a little bit of leadership on their resume, they can contact American Red Cross, any local chapter. Just say they want to talk about the Youth Action Campaign and our team will put them in contact directly with me and we'll start working with our coordinators and advocates. The Youth Action Campaign, we'll make sure to link that resource on our website too, abc4.com slash GMU. What a cool opportunity. Dee and Catherine Dodwell, thanks so much for being here. I appreciate your time. We appreciate your yeah. time. Thank you.